Hello everyone. This feels really weird. Uh, it's been a while since I last filmed anything. Uh, it's been nearly two years, which is a long time. Uh, and I'm basically, I'm just going to talk about where I've been. Like, just as like a little intro video. Um, just before we get into the video, I want to point something out in case anyone else points it out. And I just, because I don't want to, you know, I'm just going to state the obvious because I know it's pretty noticeable i don't want you know for me to read the po uh, comment of people pointing out and me being like hurt and crying and you know having a like, mental breakdown like i have lo um not lost my fucking weight i have gained weight since my last video um my weight's fluctuated a lot over the past few years and it has been a bit of a problem for me. I am going to film a video about that as well because I want to film a lot of like mental health videos. Um, but yeah, I'm just, that aside, yeah, I get it. I've put on weight, blah, blah, blah. Um, quarantine things. But I'm just going to basically sit and talk about where I've been, what's been happening. I'm not going to go too into detail because I'm going to do a separate video about, or a few separate videos about different things you know but i'm just how basic so basic story not that anyone cares but if you want to know and want to know where my channel's heading then so last that. time i did a video i had not long started work um how long had i been i been there i think i'd been there like a few months um and i wasn't consistently posting videos um you know, I love making videos, but I felt like as much as I adore my animals, I have such a passion for, like, for my animals and like, you know, making content of my animals. I just feel like I didn't want to just be an animal based channel, but then I worried that if I did loads of different kinds of content and like mix it up a bit, that people would kind of lose interest because they'd be like, oh, I'm just here for the one thing. and. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm obviously not gonna subscribe and stuff if like you're doing loads of different things because I don't know what video is gonna be uploaded. And I wasn't doing it solely for the subscribers, like you know, because I just I love filming videos and uploading videos and interacting with different people. Um, but I'm rambling so much. I don't even know what I'm on about. <sighs> yeah, I didn't want my channel to be solely based on just animals. Um, and I felt like I just kind of. Because I'd not long started work, I was doing so much overtime that I just couldn't, I didn't want to have, if I had like two days off, I didn't want to dedicate just a whole like day off for filming. Because like, I feel like I wouldn't have been able to relax and some days I wanted to, you know, spend the day going up town or if I had something, if I had booked a day off or something, I wanted to dedicate the days to that. Like I didn't want to film if you get what I mean um so yeah that happened um it's just I've just not really I've wanted to film I've not had the motivation um so not there wasn't too much that happened from I'd say from that October when I last filmed until about the October just gone um yeah not not a lot had happened to be fair but then after that things just kind of went a bit downhill like before that i was like in the time i took off until the october just gone i was you know i was just getting on with my life me i met up with friends a lot i had a lot of like house parties and stuff like that and I really, really enjoy myself. I like I started to delve into veganism, and um, I changed up my lifestyle a lot. Um, and I, yeah, that to be fair, it was a really, really good year. Um, so I don't really feel like think about YouTube. I just wanted to, you know, experience life, do loads of things. If I wanted to film, I'd film. If I didn't, then I just didn't, you know. Um, but. 
it's from October that things really started to change and I'm gonna go into that now. Sorry if the camera has moved, my battery just died. But um what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah. Um but from twenty obviously twenty nineteen but from October of 2019, I just had my 20th birthday. I'm old now. Um, I look about 12, but I am 20, I promise. Um, yeah, I just had my 20th birthday. I had such a good, cause I booked, I think I booked a week off work and oh, it was so fun. Um, no, I booked two weeks off of work in fact. And um, I was meant to be going to a Halloween party that got canceled because of flooding and I couldn't leave my village. Um, and the week after, the week, but the week before that it was my birthday, um, but we didn't really celebrate properly until the week after. Um, on that Friday, on the, the of my actual birthday, we went. My um, my partner took me to uh, Mary Hill in Wolverhampton because it's kind of like a tradition for us. Like we have loads of memories there, so we like to go there quite often. And I went there and spent some birthday money. You know, had some nice food. Um, bought a lot of stuff, spent way too much money on lush bath bombs. Um, but yeah, that was, that was really fun. I was just really enjoying life, to be fair. And then a week later, I went to the hotel. We had fun there, you know, not in that way. Oh my God, why did I just say that? Oh, don't think, no, not like that, I promise. Well, no, right, I'm just, I'm just just digging myself a hole. Right, okay, forget that, forget that. But anyway, you get what I mean. Went to the hotel, went for a meal. Um, that was the, actually the day of the Jeffree Star Exchange Dawson launch. And I was sat in the hotel room. I was having to do my makeup because we were going out. And my boyfriend was sat there with his phone and my phone open on Beauty Bay. And um, Jeffree Star's website trying to reload and everything was crashing. I was having a mental breakdown. Uh, but it was still, it was such a good night. I eventually got the palette which is what I actually did my makeup with today, which looks like poo, but I'm gonna ignore that, I'm not in any way. Um, yeah, that was really good. So yeah, like I said, my life was, I was really enjoying life, like up until then. Obviously I had a few bad days, like I all, everyone does, it's life, but yeah, I was pretty happy. Um, I can't go into detail too much like I would like to do a video but I don't know how much detail I can go into like without you see it's... there's involvements in it that I feel like if I went into too much detail about it I'd either get myself in trouble or get other people in trouble it's nothing major like you know but you know it's enough like that if I went to detail about it it could kind of put people in trouble or whatever so I'm not going to go too much into detail about it now I am going to make a separate video but I'm still not going to go into too much detail um but I had a bad experience with a person in a certain situation like well it was over a period of time and I was trying not to let it get to me I was basically <sighs> this person made me feel very worthless, very kind of, like I couldn't do anything right, like I just basically just like, I just felt very worthless. I can't obviously, like I said, I can't go into too much detail, but I just felt very singled out, very kind of worthless, like I couldn't do anything right. Um, I guess you could class it as bullying, but I don't want to go into that, like I said, like, um, but I've had a bad experience, like in school I was bullied, like I went to two different schools, one of them I loved it, I loved every minute there, the other one I just, like, I used to cry before going most days because I knew that I was going to be bullied, but you know, that's in the past, that's happened, to be fair I look like a, a complete weirdo, like it's not an excuse to bully people, but you know, like I look back and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I understand. Um, so I know, I kind of know bullying when I see it. I know when someone is being 
kind of like when someone's treating someone not very nice like i've had a lot of experiences with that in my life and i like any human knows when someone isn't being treated like decently so anyway i'm not going to go into detail about it i'm rambling too much about it i'm going to make a separate video so let's yeah so I've ha i had a bad experience in a certain situation over the past few months no one in my household no family no friends nothing like that um you can I don't know if you can kind of guess what I'm on about when I'm talking about it, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I had a bit of a bad experience with a certain person, um, and it I, I just kind of I put up with it for so long because I kind of had the for so long I had the mindset of oh it's just me I'm just overreacting oh just let it go just don't listen to it but then you know when like something something keeps chipping away at you and then you get to like a breaking point and then you're like i can't take anymore and you just kind of your mind just kind of like it's like Ugh, and you just felt like your mind's going to explode i got like that emotionally and then there was just one day where i just broke down like i just i was speaking to a very good friend of mine about it and she could see what was happening and she's actually experienced the same thing with the same person um anyway she kind of she comforted me she helped me out advised me on what to do so I kind of I tried to get it sorted went and spoke to um people that I needed to long story short it didn't get sorted I felt like I was being victimized but the people involved I feel like they didn't really Feel that way i think they just thought it was a massive misunderstanding but to me it wasn't when someone treats you different to everyone else then that's not a misunderstanding to me that's anyway um see how that happened and it really really has affected my mental health um i had to kind of well i've been kind of I've been suffering I've I've suffered with anxiety for quite a long time and a few forms of mental health just because of things I've been through in my life um but it's just I feel like this kind of one event has kind of brought everything to the surface and now everything's kind of there and it's made it really bad like my anxiety is really bad um I actually went and got I went to my GP I've uh, been taking medication I've, I was diagnosed with anxiety, depression and a form of PTSD um, just because of past events and that sort of thing. Um, sorry, I feel really weird talking about it. But um, yeah, I feel really awkward talking about it but I feel like I want to talk about it because it's what's happened. I'm telling you what's happened since my last video to here and this is what's happened so that's why I'm saying it but I just feel really awkward. So I went to my GP, I was taking medication, uh, she referred me to a um, ENHS kind of like a counselling service. Um, I had a few kind of um, consultations I guess you'd say just kind of like so they could get a rough idea of what was happening in my life and what treatment they think would be best like whether it's cbt or counseling or something along those lines um and just because of everything since i think it must have been beginning of november now i've been off work because i've just not been able to face it i've not been able to go to work um i'm struggling to kind of go to shops and go to public places like with the given situation at the moment obviously it's even worse like i if you have anxiety or ptsd or any sort of like you know mental health issue i feel you so much like i completely empathize with you it's horrible it's such a horrible thing to have to go through no one's ever had to go through it and um this is just added to everything <laughs> like, i know everyone's going through it but you know like when you're already kind of you know suffering a bit with like your mental health it's just like great now i've got this on top of everything god i keep rambling right well then shut up just tell the story um but yeah uh i've had counseling um i've not been able to it has really affected my life like i've never been the most confident person um 
when I went to my second secondary school, that gap where I was there, because I was in my first school, the not very nice school, for year seven, eight, half a year nine. Then I went to the other secondary school. I was there from year 10 till the beginning of year, well, halfway through year nine, year 10, beginning of year 11. Then I went back to the horrible school because, you know, I moved locations, things happen. Um, I keep going off track, I keep forgetting what I'm saying, for God's sake, why am I like this? But yeah, between that time when I was at the second secondary school I went to, so halfway through year 9, year 10, and beginning of year 11, I was really kind of, well, I was confident, like, and although I wasn't the happiest, and I'm going to do a video on this again, just so many videos, so many topics, um, I wasn't the happiest, I'd say just because of a few reasons like all, I thought I was happy in myself but I just really wasn't um but I was confident because I was in a good situation um I had a lot of nice friends the school I went to was amazing I didn't I wasn't I don't think I experienced like one form of bullying whilst I was there um I was living with like my dad and I'd never lived with him before and I just really enjoyed it because me and my dad are really close and I just I was really happy um but then when I came back to where I am now and back to my other school I felt like my confidence just dropped like the little confidence I'd finally gained in my life had just gone um and I feel like that's just kind of affected me since then um and now that everything's happened recently or like over the past year it's all just kind of like you know, it's just reached a, the peak where I'm just like, yeah, I can't, I can't cope anymore. Um, not to be dramatic, you know, but um, yeah, so that something happened that triggered everything. I'm get, I'm seeing a counsellor. Well, I'm meant to be, but obviously I can't at the moment because everything's going on. And if you've dealt with like counselling and stuff, you know how slow it can be. No fault of their own. They've got a massive waiting list. But, you know, it can be quite a tedious, quite a, a frustrating process. But that's where I am at now. And I don't think a lot has changed since then. I've been really struggling because I feel like a lot of, well, not a lot of people can really empathise or, you know, advise you on something that they've not been through themselves. Um, so I've just kind of... My boyfriend's been really good with it, my dad's been really supportive, my mum's been supportive where she can be, um, my sister's been amazing. Um, but it's just, when someone hasn't been through a situation that, like, it's difficult for them to give you advice or to even know what you're going through, uh, which is completely understandable. But um, some people then take that and try to kind of give advice of what they think is good, like best for you when they don't really know much about the situation. And I feel like I've experienced a lot of that over the past few months. Like, you know how people can be, especially people who care about you. Sometimes they just want the best for you, but they don't always go the best way about it. Um, so I've been really, it's just a very frustrating, like, I just, uh, you know how, like if you've been through things like that you know how it can be just <sighs> this video I did not go how I expected to I thought I'd be able to just kind of explain everything I thought about bam 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 this happened this happened this happened that's my life so far bye but no I've, I've rambled I don't know what to say <laughs> it's just <sighs> but yeah man that's how everything's been since last October November um I've just kind of been getting by and I wanted I really I've, like I said I've been wanting to film again for ages but I've just not really had the motivation or the right state of mind like the beginning of this year I was really in a really really bad place like I'm in a bad place at the moment but I feel like because I've gotten back onto posting on Instagram on my food Instagram uh junk food vegan UK if you want to go follow um I feel like that's been helping because it's given me something to do. Um, I've recently moved out, which has been a pain because I'm still having to go to and from my mum's because she literally lives like a minute away from me. Like if I put 
the camera outside the window you'd be able to see my mum's house but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to give away my location <laughs> um I did it again I, I can't remember what I was saying <laughs> I hate myself oh, what was I saying oh yeah I mean it just I feel like I'm I'm okay at the moment like I don't think I could go back to work I still I'm not good in public situations like social situations but at the beginning of the year I feel like I was just very depressed if you want if you want um I had literally no motivation I was going to bed at like six o'clock in the morning because I could not sleep and even if I did sleep I'd be having awful dreams and I still have them from time to time um but yeah I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna go into detail I'm gonna give a whole story about it about like different things so the beginning of the year wasn't good for me at all I had a very bad experience like on New Year's Eve um that's why you shouldn't drink when you're taking medication um but that's kind of led me up to now I'm okay um and I just wanted to film I've been wanting to film for ages I've wanted to talk about my life and about mental health and about veganism and tattoos and piercings and all that I've always I've wanted to do like videos about them for a while but I feel like now I'm just kind of like Molly stop procrastinating stop putting it off just do it um like I said at the beginning of the video I feel like a lot that's put me up is that I have kind of my weights have fluctuated a lot like last year I lost well at the end of 2017 I really let myself go and I'd gotten to 14 stone I did a diet um which was not a good diet which but that's another video i'm gonna do about like my relationship with food um i did a diet which wasn't a good diet i made it very restrictive which is really bad yeah that wasn't that wasn't good but then i still i lost weight and then i started my job um near the beginning of 2018 about march april time um and that helped me to lose a lot of weight because that is a very you know, like kind of hands-on job like you know retail can be like long days like on your feet all the time um and then since everything happened in october um i've just kind of been i've not had any motivation food's been like my best friend but also my worst enemy i've been overeating a lot indulging a lot um you know all the oreos all the, all the barbecue pringles i've literally got a tub of barbecue pringles downstairs that i ate all of on Saturday so that was great um yeah that's what's currently happening um I've just I'm not I don't like how I look like I'm looking at myself now and I'm like my face looks fat like I look awful I've covered my arms because I don't like my arms all those sort of things but I think that goes hand in hand with mental health as well um a lot of mental health makes you kind of see yourself in a different perspective to how you actually look or it makes you just dislike yourself and you pick out every flaw of yourself um which I, i've always been like that but it's just recently it's been bad because i know i've gained weight i know that for a fact i keep asking people have i gained weight and they're like oh no molly like my mum's like no molly you look fine my sister's like no molly you look fine and my partner's like oh my god shut up stop asking me like you haven't gained weight like for the hundredth time that i've asked him but i know i have <laughs> and um it's not fun when you know you have um but life goes on i don't have the motivation to go on a diet it's probably not a good idea for me to go on a diet because i know what that's done to me in the past again a different video but yeah so at the moment i'm just dealing with it i want to kind of get to a place where like i don't want to be on a diet for the rest of my life and just eating eating healthily because life's so short i'm not obviously not going to eat to the point where it puts my health at risk like i love fruit i love veg i tend to have fruit and veg with almost every meal like i try my best even if it's just a few peas on the side or whatever um but i'm just kind of trying to you know not put too many things on my plate trying to just enjoy life enjoy food have a biscuit there a packet of crisps there a vegan pizza here um yeah that's where i'm at so that's it that's literally where i am at the moment i'm okay that's i'm okay um 
I probably seem a lot happier on this video than I actually am, but that's so easy to look at someone on a video and think, oh, their life's perfect, or oh, they're so happy, or I wish I could be like them, but you don't know what happens behind the camera. So yeah, that's, that's where I am at the moment. I'm gonna stop rambling now. So I don't know how much of this video actually made any sense. Um, because I rambled a lot, I went off track a lot, I forgot where I was, I forgot what I was saying, but if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sitting through my rambling, thank you so much for putting up with my face and my annoying voice that makes me sound like a five year old. Um, yeah, that's it, I'm gonna go now, before I start rambling more. I'm gonna go eat because I haven't had any lunch and I'm starving, so yeah. There's a car outside, I don't want to be someone at the door because I'll cry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>